now we have two really cool view components, GIF grid and GIF box. We've registered these globally, but I want to talk about a better way to register view components. Since we register these globally, they are globally accessible by any of our view instances. Let's say we had up here, we have div ID app. Maybe we wanted to create another one, section ID is equal to app dose or something like that, app two. Then these view components are available to all of our view instances. Now that's okay, but we don't really like polluting the global scope. We don't like adding things to our global object. What would be better is if we registered each component only with the view instance that we'll be using it. And the reason we want to do this, let's say by some crazy, crazy coincidence that you brought in some other view instances, maybe you were working with a couple different packages that gave you GIF boxes like this, and maybe you just named yours GIF. By some crazy, crazy coincidence, maybe another developer named theirs GIF as well. Well, this would cause problems, right? We just want to make sure that we can avoid those collisions just in case they ever happened. So to do this, let's register things per view instance. So we're saying, okay, this view instance only within this div, can you look for the GIF box or the GIF grid? So instead of just saying view.component, which automatically creates the global view component, we can say const GIF grid. And this is the naming convention for views components is studly caps. Now we can remove that. We can now register this GIF grid inside of this view instance. We can say, hey, components that we want you to look for are GIF grid. And I want you to use the GIF grid object here that I generated to create the component. Now we have our GIF grid as a component that only this new view instance can use. And that's how you define components per view instance. Now this is still a little problematic because our view box right here is also a global component, but uh, it's only used in GIF grid. So shouldn't that be the responsibility of GIF grid to know what it's using? Well, we can do the same thing here. We'll say components, GIF box is GIF box. And let's go up here. We'll say const GIF box is equal to that. And now we have a little bit of a component tree going on. We have, hey, our new view instance will only use GIF grid. And then our GIF grid actually uses GIF box. So in this way, you can kind of track down what your components are using. You can track down the tree that you're making. That's a little bit of a simple trick, but it is worth noting because when our applications get larger and larger and larger, it's good to know that we can track down what components are being used where. And this just helps for organization. This helps when you pass things along to other developers. They don't have to guess that view.component was used somewhere. They can say, okay, this instance will use these components. It will have this data. It has these methods. Again, organization is key here when we're building large scale applications. And speaking on organization, let's take a step further in the next lesson and start doing a little bit more organization.